Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and if you have watched my Unicorn FAQ series, you've probably thought to yourself, She's not really a fairy. Those aren't really unicorns. And you know what? I'm not actually a fairy, and so you're right about that part. But my horses are actually unicorns. And yours might be too. Want to know how to find out? Stay tuned. Sometimes a unicorn is born without a horn. It happens. Sometimes people are born without all their parts, and unicorns are no exception. As you can imagine, unicorns that are born without horns grow up very insecure. Some are even bullied by monstrous creatures like trolls or orcs or people who drive really slow in the passing lane. These special hornless unicorns often disguise themselves as regular horses, so maybe you've already met a unicorn before. I have made my unicorns special prosthetic horns that they can wear to make them feel more confident. So they can look just like all the other unicorns if they want. Now they don't wear them all the time, but that option is nice to have, you know? So how can you tell if your horse is a unicorn that was simply born without a horn? The horse literally tells you, like looks you in the eye, speaks English or whatever your language is and says, hey, I'm a unicorn. I mean, honestly, that's the easiest way to tell. <laughs> now, not all unicorns have the magic of human speech, so sometimes they will make ridiculous faces. Sometimes in an attempt to speak your language, unicorns will make the craziest faces because they are trying to make the words come out of their mouths. So if you have a horse that is constantly making crazy or funny faces, that may be your unicorn's attempt to communicate with you. Another way to tell if your ordinary horse is actually a unicorn is if they hang out all the time with a witch or a wizard. If your horse is always like hanging out with magical folk, then guess what? Your horse is probably magical folk too. Elf locks. This is a big indicator. If your horse is the type that gets these twisted, matted elf locks or witches knots in their mane, that is an excellent indication that the fairies have been playing with your unicorn overnight when you're not there. Fairies and elves will make knots in unicorns' manes in order to be able to ride them better because they don't use tack. Magical markings. Some horses have um, a small spot in the shape of a heart or a star, or has some sort of a birthmark somewhere that can't be explained. Some sort of magical looking marking somewhere on the horse's body would indicate that the horse is actually a unicorn. Escape artists. Do you have a horse that's always getting out of the paddock, or always getting out of the stall, or just always getting out, period? Getting out of halters, getting out of tack, getting out of everywhere. Guess what? It's probably a unicorn. Now, except for minis, all miniature horses are escape artists. Loving other animals. Do you have a horse that absolutely loves other animals, like cats or dogs? Do you catch your horse grazing with deer out in the paddock? Do cattle egrets ride your horse around the paddock? If your horse has lots and lots of animal friends that are not horses, then guess what? Your horse is a unicorn. Uh, mysterious lameness. If your horse is constantly coming up lame, if they're always off, um, it's not even a particular one hoof or another. Sometimes it's a shoulder. You got to get the chiropractor out. You're constantly making vet calls. What's wrong with my horse? These kinds of horses that always seem to sustain mysterious injuries in the paddock just overnight, those are the unicorns that are fighting dragons. Dragon fighting is intense, and unicorns, as powerful and magical as they are, they can tend to be injured in these magical fights. So if you have a horse that is constantly coming up lame, number one, your horse is probably a unicorn, and number two, you might have a dragon infestation around. So uh, maybe get that checked out. Visiting you in your dreams. This is actually very key. If your horse is a unicorn that has dream magic, then your horse is gonna visit you in your dreams. If you have dreams about your horse all the time, especially if those dreams involve magic or flying or just amazing things happening, then your horse is actually a unicorn who is visiting you in your dreams to let you know. This next one's a little bit uh, strange, but if you are able to get to your barn or stable 
on the night of a full moon. Check your horse's shadow in the light of the full moon. If your horse is a unicorn, you will see the horn's shadow. You won't see the horn on your horse, but the horn, even though it's not there, it creates a magical imprint that casts a shadow in the light of the full moon. Thank you for watching my video today. If you would like more videos for extra equestrians, then hit that subscribe button. There are also links in the description box if you want to follow me on Instagram, join the Facebook group Extra Equestrians, check out my Etsy store. And if you want more unicorn videos, I've got a playlist that I will link for you over here, as well as another video that YouTube thinks you might like. And there's even a subscribe icon down here somewhere or somewhere over here. So if you click that, you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a magical day.